Hello folks, NEK Canoeist here, and today I'm doing a, a support video for Daryl 39 Camper. And I want to congratulate Daryl on his over 500 count subs. Uh, so Daryl's got a contest going on. Uh, just I would like to pay that forward to Pennsylvania Shane uh, to begin with, so I'm, I don't want to be in the contest. Just uh, forward my to uh, Pennsylvania Shane if I win. Uh, so I am going to go over uh, what's in my vehicle. Uh, what do I carry in my vehicle? Now it's a semi. It's one. I'm missing two items. I lost earlier in the year. I haven't yet replaced them. I had a box. It had some bib overalls in them, and I don't know what I did with it. I probably unloaded it when I had to move something and I never reloaded it back in the vehicle and it probably got left someplace and unfortunately I'm out of my bib overalls that were in a cardboard box and I had a spotlight that you plug into your uh, cigarette lighter as well so those two items I'm missing right now and I'm gonna have to replace but everything else is here that stays in my vehicle uh, what I did not include in this video, uh, my EDC bag, which doesn't stay in the vehicle, it kind of follows with me. So uh, that's, a, uh, that's got uh, like a brew kit, some first aid. It's in, uh, I call it my, w, my WD EDC. It's like my woods and water EDC. It goes with me everywhere. So that's not included with this. So I don't carry everything in my van because I carry that bag as well, which which has like multi-tool knife, whatever, uh, medicine, uh, a little bit of everything. So with a combination of that and what's in here, I'm, uh, for the most part, I'm pretty good to go on most things. Uh, so I'm gonna reposition my camera and we'll take a look and see what's in this uh, vehicle, this salt covered vehicle. Alright, so I'm looking in the back of my vehicle right now, which is it's a minivan, and uh, I always carry this toolbox with me. And this toolbox I had in a past video, It this uh, toolbox follows me out through my work day. So if I change vans in my work day, this toolbox still comes with me. Uh, in this toolbox, I have a, a large assortment of tools. Uh, I have a drill, uh, sockets, wrenches, uh, wire cutters, electrical pieces, uh, Allen wrenches, tape, file, hammer. Uh, you know, I've got plenty of plenty of stuff going on here there's a there's a real lot of stuff in here so and then I have assortment of nuts and bolts and just sockets and screws and all sorts of items in that it would take a while to go through everything that's in this box here I think everybody would get the the gist of what's going on and this just follow I use these tools every day so it's they're in a blue crate, which has got one of these Husky uh, tool bags in it. Now, I put it in the blue crate because the Husky tool bag will not stay upright in the vehicle. So, uh, and it will always tip over and then I'll be picking up my tools. So, within the blue crate, it actually stays weighted down enough and it's uh, supported well so it doesn't tip over. Uh, my coffee cup, which stays with me. Uh, so these tools come in quite handy actually i've used them you know even on roadside assistance so uh even though they're my work tools they're still part of my emergency uh kit uh i got some boots that stay with me uh now i might change the boots and they i have extra socks that usually get thrown down in them uh and you know I change my boots off and on so it's not necessarily this pair but uh, you know right now it's this pair I like carrying this pair actually I'm coming into to more like spring like weather 
hopefully soon so I, this is the pair that I carry then because they're they're tall and they go through the mud quite well uh, as opposed to like they're not good as well in the uh, or mid mid winter or early winter because they're not as uh, warm. I have pack boots for that. Uh, a snow shovel, and we know what that's for. I have a black crate in here, which has a, a air pump in it. I have two sets of jumper cables and a couple tie down straps, some bungee cords, and. Uh, I think that's about it for that. What's in that crate? Now, there's a little like uh, fishing box up front that's yellow, and that has a chain in it, a tow chain. So I carry a tow chain, and that stays in the van year round, as well as that crate and my blue crate. The snow shovel takes a hike uh, as soon as it winter's over with, and. I'm going to move to the front of the vehicle and well I got a little pocket here also it's just got some garbage uh, tape measure and WD-40 that's not really much emergency stuff but sometimes a WD-40 will come in handy uh, so I'm going to move to the front of the vehicle and we'll take a look and see what's in there I don't carry a real lot uh, up front most of its back here uh, and like I said I'm missing the emergency light and my bib overalls which I really miss a lot because those overalls are good if you have to crawl on the ground to to do something outside your vehicle uh, even if one's stuck in the snow and you got to get the snow out from underneath it or something like that or crawling underneath the vehicle those overalls are good year-round to have and I'm missing them right now so hopefully we get them back in here soon so I'm gonna move to the front and we'll take All a right. look there so in the front of the vehicle I just carry some gloves with me I have a little bit of paracord a pick a razor uh, just some summertime items in here which we don't need after but it was left in here from last year uh, and I carry an extra jacket with me and I also carry a blanket which is actually underneath uh, one of the seats here as well uh, some pencils and paper are in the, the that console as well and uh, I think that's about it uh, for what I carry in the front uh, nothing nothing real big most of it's in the rear of the rear of the van so all right so I hope that's what you're looking for Daryl and uh, I just want to congratulate you again on your subs and your channel you've gone a long ways with it and uh, I'm looking forward to the future watching more of your videos and uh, I just want to say thank you also for supporting my channel as well so uh, thanks folks for watching congrats to you Daryl and we'll catch you on the next one